Hey there YouTube, Ghost Jake here with you today. How are you doing today? I am back with another Witcher Netflix series review slash recap, whatever you want to call it. This is episode two of the Witcher Netflix series three two, one, here we go. <clears throat> now, in in episode two of the Witcher Netflix series, um, well, my thoughts on this episode, I thought this was a, was a, was a very good episode also. Um, but, okay, right, but here's how it opens up, guys. So it opens up in this, in this village, and this guy and this girl is, um, you know, you know they're, you know, kissing and you know making out, and then and this guy gives her, you know, before that the guy gives her a daisy, and she didn't like it, but, but it was kind of creepy though because like, not the fact they were kissing or anything, but um, um, they thought they were gonna get attacked, killed, because there was something looking in from like a barn, area. And it turned out later in the episode was this the the peop the person the thing that was looking at looking through the barn ended up um, ended up being um, Yennefer, but I don't think there's any pictures of Yen on the cover of the game. So, but anyway, um, yeah. So, and then <laughs> Yennefer had a really has in in, the, in this show, Yennefer has a really hard life. And in case you haven't seen the show yet, or if you haven't read the books, at this point, Yennefer is not the you know like the the hot girl, the hot lady, hot woman you see in The Witcher Three when you're playing the game. You know she she is you know you know kind of deformed, deformed, and she's getting bullied, right? And then. And she and she's getting bullied, but she ends up actually. Um, she ends up actually um, traveling. Um, not um, she. She, um, she portals. While the while the while the kids are beating on her, she just vanishes and she portals into the um, Tower of Gull. Um, and then there she meets some, and then there she meets someone named um, Is Istrid. You know, at the very beginning, I think I probably just butchered his name, but oh well. Um, and um, and then you know, he Istrid or is is. Whatever, he makes a portal, and so Yen can go back home. And then um, this um, lady comes to like her father's farm or wherever, and um, and she's you know like how much we're paying? He's like ten marks, and then she sees Jennifer, and she says, "How much for this thing?" Is like four. So her father sold Jennifer for like. Four, four, four marks. So I, I think in that town that's money, obviously, and so that is not a, worth a lot of money. And then you know she is in this um, room and she's like you know up. And in the end is you know, rightfully upset you know because she got sold, and she is thinking about um, killing herself. And then that is when the credits you know roll you know where it's like. You know, or, you know. Then after the you know the credits are not not like the ending credits, you know, like um, the opening scene credit things. You know, you, you know what I mean. And um, and then after that, um, after after Yen is thinking about killing herself in the credits and the opening theme like credits roll. All of a sudden, we are. In the woods, and you think you're going to be seeing Geralt walking through, you know, riding roach or, um, you know, walking roach or hunting something or doing something. And 
it turns out the person you see walking through the woods is Siri, and she is um, ends up getting saved by this um, person. This person, and you know, and and this person, and this person, and but also while Siri is Siri's in the woods, Nilfgaard is still searching for Siri, and she ends up eating. Um, Siri ends up eating rat, and you're going to do pretty much whatever you're going to do if you know. To survive if you're lost in the woods and we don't know this guy's name yet and so um, his name and to know his name yet but Siri refers to him as rat boy because the only thing she knows of him is she killed rats so they could eat so and then we finally get to come to see Geralt Geralt is in this, like, pub of this village. And, um... Geralt meets a witcher contract. I mean, not meets. Dude, I'm stupid. Gets a witcher contract. But while he's getting his witcher contract um, for this, like, devil creature, um, there's this bard singing, and this bard ends up joining um, Geralt on his venture to hunt this um, creature. Now, they never said what his name was in episode two. If they did, I missed it. But uh, I am like 95% sure the bard and um, Ger- Geralt met in episode two. I am 95% sure it's Dandelion. And, you know, they start walking down the road, right? And then we go, and then we are off to the tower again after the you know, after they leave after Witcher and probably Dandelion leave the pub. And um then we're back to seeing Yen. And and yes, from the like the little cliffhanger from the opening, Yen indeed Yen indeed tried to kill herself and she was saved by um Teresa de Vres. I think I just probably butchered her name too. So, sorry, sorry for butchering the names, guys. But and Yen, um, they like Teresa takes Yen to this greenhouse where she could do a magic test, and um, she Yen pretty much fails the magic test right from the beginning, and. Um, but you also hear some from Renee. You hear like the name Frangilla, and you know a few other ones, and and I think and I think these people are going to end up being the larger sorceresses from like the Witcher from the Witcher games, and and from the books obviously too. But um, yeah, so and and then after that we are. After Yen pretty much fails the Witcher and the magic test, we are back to um, we are back to Dandelion and Geralt. Or at least it's gonna be probably Dandelion. Um, and you know they're f- hunting in this um, field, not not hunting. They're searching this field for, for this devil creature, and they ended up and they end up finding um, they end up. Um, finding something and the thing they ended up finding I didn't know what it was but it turns out it's like a Salerin Salverin I probably just butchered that thing too Um, that's what it turns out to be and these things end up knocking probably Dandelion out and Geralt out and they are taking him to this like cave right now another thing is um like um Siri um uh meets these people I don't know meets these people you know shortly after she did you know departed from Ratboy because she saw like a sentry and flag you know you know earlier but um and um 
And um, what's ended up happening is um, she meets these people, and a lot of they're all ravaged because a lot of the people die. And this like boy's mother, she um, he uh, um, Siri is talking to her, and you know she says, "I am pretty much looking for Gerald or Rivia." And at this point, you know, she, the, the girl's mother asks if Geralt, if Geralt, if Geralt, if Geralt if Rivia is a knight, and Siri doesn't know what he is. But we all know what Geralt is. Geralt's a witcher. And, but Siri doesn't know that yet by, you know, this um, point. And now for Magic Test 2, with back with Yen, Yen is trying to um, do, like, um, like this transfiguration, uh, but I, I don't know if transfiguration is, is the right word, but it's um, pretty much, it's kind of like, pretty much like mind reading, but only, you know, like using magic. And, um, and Yen pretty much cheats, or we think she cheats, because, you know, Teresa pretty much, you know, calls her out when, when she said her partner is afraid of snakes. And, um, but, you know, later in that, in the cave with Istrid, um, Yen was actually able to use, Yen was actually able to use, um, use her, um, read his mind. So, you know, there's two conflicting things. Is he just a better teacher? Or did Ren, or did Yen actually read her partner's mind, and they just don't believe she did, right? Um, now there's another th with like lesson three for Yennefer too. Oh wait, but um, I forgot one thing um, before we go to lesson three. Um, I think it's before lesson three. Um, well, like Geralt and probably Dandelion are in, in in the cave, right? No, this is. I think, I think it's after lesson three. My, my bad. Um, well, okay. Let's just go on to lesson three. Lesson three is like they're trying to catch lightning in a bottle. And Yennefer pretty much fares at catching lightning in a bottle. But she, um, um, pretty much fails at catching lightning in a bottle. And she gets struck with lightning. But here's the interesting thing after she, after Yennefer got struck with lightning, she ended up using you know, lightning, she was, like, really frustrated with her emotions, and then she, like, cast a lightning bolt. And so, Yen is starting to get it, and then we, I, I kind of like they're turning, they're making Yennefer's, like, journey to be who she is kind of sl sl slow, but not really slow, because, you know, you know, The Witcher Netflix series only got, you know, season one's only, like, eight episodes, I believe. So, um, She'll probably get it by, you know, next episode. Um, and then, um, and then, um, and then we're at the, um, cave with Geralt, and it turns out there's this little, sl sl uh, sl 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 Man, I am butchering that creature's name really badly. And it turns out a lot of the things that captured him was that creature and elves. And Geralt is pretty much, you know, talking to them. Right? And there's another interest talking to them, you know, because they're pretty much getting ready to, you know, kick kick the bucket. And the, this uh, person is... Uh, the person is like, he meets this elf in charge. His name is like Flizdale. Fliz, 
Dale. I think I just kind of butchered his name too. And they're having a chat. Now we're getting back to back to Yennefer. And this episode is kind of really focused on Yen. Um, now with Yen in this episode, after after failing so many times, um, it, it looks like Yen's getting sent home. But that is not exactly the case. Yen is talking to Istrid. You know, in the cave of the tower of tower of gold, and um, what ends up happening is um, what ends up happening is um, uh, what what ends up happening is um, Yen is like is put to this test to try to. Um, Pass. She is supposed to get this like um, flower from Istrid, and so she tries to seduce Istrid, and they end up kissing, and she gets the flower, and then, then the portal opens, and then Yen goes back to Teresa and says, "You know what? I'm pretty much ready to you know ascend. So if we can, you know, we can ascend." And now we are. Um, so Yen, you know, ends up passing the test. And now we're getting back to serious getting back to Siri. It's, it's nighttime, and Siri and you know the family she's with are sleeping in this tent, right? And then all of a sudden, Nilfgaard attacks Siri, and the entire village Siri's and you know determined to find Siri, and Siri is gets saved by um, this person. And it and it turns it turns out the person who saved him is Rat Boy, and it turns out Rat Boy's name is like Daria, Daria, some something like that, and uh, and she and he ends up telling telling and, and Daria, the person who saved Siri, ends up telling um, you know, they end up traveling together, and and also um. And also, um, the elves ended up letting um, Geralt and. 95% sure Dandelion go. You know, you know, after that, um, pretty much let her, let them go. If they think it's, um, reverse psychology, Dandelion thinks it's reverse psychology, and I'm pretty sure it isn't. It's just, um, it's just, um, you know, Yen, you know, I mean, Geralt, I mean, Geralt talking the truth. And Geralt ended up giving him the coin, giving them the coin for his ritual contract so that they could move on. Now, here's a kind of creepy scene before before, before we kind of end. Like, we don't know if, like, the knocking, you know, for Yennefer's ascension actually happened. You know, so Yen's, you know, nervous. So she ends up following these, like, people and um, to this, like, cave not the cave where Istrid is in a different part of the cave. And it turns out, um, like, Istrid is kind of a bastard. He tells this person that uh, Yennefer is part elf. Um, whether or not Yennefer was telling the truth, that's another thing. But I think she is, was. I'm pretty sure she was. Um, but she follows Ter Teresa into this, you know, other part of the cave, like I said in these witches, she turns them into, like, eels. And Yennefer's job is to, like, kick the eels in this water so they could, like, power up uh, the, you know, the Tower of Gaul. And um, so, essentially, she makes... Because they still have their magic, and essentially she just turned them into electric eels. You know, for... That's pretty much the... That's pretty much the... Um, and that is pretty much the end of episode two of the Witcher Netflix series. I hope this review is as good as the first. Until then, guys, later. Talk to you probably tomorrow when I watch episode three. Bye.